have understand I've got Hayden with me. Now he says affordability comes from more supply. It's a pretty simple equation. Economics 101, Dean. Yeah, more supply in an environment of high demand, which we currently have at the moment across yeah. Australia, whether it be rental supply or just housing stock supply. We know that in the rental market, for example, we're at record low vacancy rates mm. across Australia. Yep. Some cities are better than others, but generally mm. speaking, it's well below the long-term market average yep. of, of market parity of about three, three and a half percent. So in some places, it's less than one percent. Yeah. So that's, that, that comes from a savage undersupply. And unfortunately, that's not gonna change anytime soon. That's yep. why we're seeing property values, despite high inflation, higher interest rates, at still, the moment, we're yeah. still seeing prices across Australia continue to rise in most capital cities around yep. Australia and in some of the regions still. And so, um, and rents, of course, are continuing to rise at a faster rate than we're seeing prices rise. Mm. Uh, and so really there's no change to that feedback loop until we can get some more supply in the market. Yeah. And we know that through government modelling, we're about 110,000 homes short by the end of 2024, right? That's a, lot of, that's a lot of ground to catch up. Yep. And of course, we know that the cost of construction is so high and land values are so high, you can't just magic new houses out of thin air, it takes yep. time. And so we're in for a period of, I think, continued and sustained yep. growth, moderated by that higher cost of living pressures that are currently mm. in the marketplace um, and mortgage rates obviously going yep. up. But I do think that we are in for a period of, of higher rents and higher property values uh, within in the short term yep. until we can get some more supply into the market. But as I've already said, that's several years away. And yep. so it's going to be a very interesting time to see what happens uh, over the next two to five years in Australian real estate. Look out. Cheers.